Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Fresh Fruit Magazine, and today I met with Johan Laveau, plant pathologist at UC Davis, who's taken a microbial approach to addressing the deadly HLB or Huanglung Bing disease that's threatening the California citrus industry. And here's Johan to talk about the value for early detection technology in identifying the change that takes place when the trees get infected with Huanglung Bing. We made an observation not too long ago in the greenhouse where we found that there are certain uh, changes in the microbial communities that are found on leaf surfaces of uh, citrus trees that were infected with the CLAS bacterium, which is the causative agent of HLB, HLB. And we uh, saw that those changes were not occurring on trees that were not infected. So what that really told us was there's something about the infection of CLAS with the um, infection of citrus with the CLAS bacterium that changes the microbial community. Uh, we don't know exactly what causes this, but uh, it did uh, allow us to ask the question, well, can we then use these changes as a way to predict whether or not a tree is infected with CLAS? And the reason why that's important is because uh, very often when a tree does get infected with CLAS, symptoms don't occur right away. Um, and it, it can take up to months and years before symptoms actually uh, show and what that means is during that time uh, a grower wouldn't know that their tree is uh, infected but the tree would be infectious so the bacteria would be uh, in the tree and it could be picked up by psyllids and moved to other trees and so if we had a method uh, that, that would allow us to early detect sea last infection I think that would be a great benefit to growers and there's uh, other groups, research groups that are looking at changes in the tree that would be predictive or indicative of sea last infection, they look at metabolites, they look at uh, VOC, volatile organic uh, compounds that are emitted by infected trees but not uninfected trees. And so what we're looking at is our, our, our these microbiota and we have a couple of good candidates that seem to, uh, candidates when I say candidates, these are microbial species that we found on leaf surfaces that seem to be enriched, so uh, present in higher abundance uh, on leaf surfaces of sea last infected trees versus uninfected trees. So we have a lot to learn there still, but I think it's uh, we're on our way to um, come up with some of these species. We're, we're ranking them, see which one is, is going to be the one that is most telling, uh, the one that is consistently showing us um, a predictive uh, capability so not only in the greenhouse but also in, in different fields in California in different states even uh, those are the ones that we're going to move forward with and uh, uh, be the basis for an early detection technology uh, that um, takes uh, advantage of changes in the leaf microbiota. Thank you Johan. Stay current on the progress researchers are making to protecting the California citrus industry from the Asian citrus psyllid and HLB which is coming our way in California Fresh Fruit Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.